Hi everyone, welcome to Java Express Academy. Today I'm going to discuss Java 15 string utility methods. Okay, utility methods from Java 10 onwards, so many utility methods they are introduced. We have another two utility methods are available one for formatted, another for translate escapes. Like you know, already. Uh, we have a, a sequence character like escape sequence characters like slash n to remove those kind of activities. Okay, we have a translate escapes method and formatted. We have we can format our string by using string dot format method we have right previously. So right now they are enhanced. Okay, in different approach. Okay, we will have a look uh, these two methods with examples guys. Okay. Let me create a fresh project. Okay, I don't want to disturb. Okay, let me make it 18th project. Okay, uh, so here what we can say string utility methods on which version? Uh, Java 15, right? I think, yeah, 15. Okay, let me copy. Okay, we have a text blocks demo here. What we can do, let me rename with uh, uh, string formatted demo. Okay, let me finish it. Let me remove completely. Okay, yeah. What we can do first, uh, think like a suppose integer user ID equal to triple one, just okay. Uh, string I'm defining couple of variables guys have a look here string username equal to okay Java Express okay so if you want to format your string previously what we have see here string message equals to we have a method called string is a method we have a method called format is a method here you should specify your string here you should specify your arguments now here if we define suppose percentile d okay and or just i want to say just percentile another for percentile d okay and have a look now how i will provide uh, for this approach now okay now if you want to assign the variables what you can do here oh, we have uh, a percentile d and percentile right now just provide with your user id first user id and username user id and username now just go ahead and save this application okay we have some issue with illegal exception okay this is percentile okay first one is your username and second one with your user id guys okay let me save right click run as java application okay uh, let me print your message. Let me print your message. Right click, run as Java application. See, percentile yes replaced with your username means your string. Percentile D replaced with your user ID. Okay, hope you are clear about these two things. This is by using string dot format method. Instead of that, string is uh, simplified in more approach. Even you no need to use string as a class here. Instead of that, directly you can write the string here. Here they have given one method called formatted like this. Explicitly, you no need to specify. See here, username, comma, user ID. Now just replace with your original string to here, guys. Now copy and paste. That's it. Previously, I mean, say more a simplified approach they give. You don't need to specify string dot format method. Instead of that, directly the method is introduced formatted method on string. So this we can avoid it. And this is one approach. Even it is supporting for our text blocks. Okay. Now see here. Let me define some text block here. Like what I can do. Uh, string uh, EMP details. Have a look now. Okay, <clears throat> what I'm doing, okay, it's already how, let me make it here, assume that I have a employee details, okay, uh, however, want I can define, see, 
uh, employee number it can be a percentile d it's a number right now employee name now it is a string now yes okay now employee salary okay i want to specify floating number okay now employee address i want to even supporting for your text blocks as well see here this is our string now how to do formatting see here employee details dot formatted just to specify suppose triple one java express suppose some twenty five thousand floating point number suppose dot five f okay to make sure it's a hyderabad see now at runtime it will replace your string see here guys employee name employee name sorry employee number name salary and address this is the way to use formatted okay inside your on top of your strings you can apply we have uh, another uh, method called translate escapes method see here translate escapes demo okay now let me define a method here see here string s is equals to suppose i'm uh, defining like this see java n express slash n academy just you have some kind of a string like this if you try to print this data on yes have a look run as java application what i have in java express academy every string separated with a new line we are doing now the same string i will do in a different approach assume that here what i can say we have a double slash okay okay i, I written like this string s yes one if you write to write data s yes one how the data will be printed run as char. see slash is printing one extra slash is printing here how to avoid to avoid to avoid this approach they have one method called translate escape symbol see when you are using escape see here we have symbols we have slash n slash f form feed all when you type this method all the function uh, what are the escape sequences we have these things it will be avoided here just you can use escapes method right click run as java application see here i call it. there is no slash here. so that's why this utility method is introduced in this feature hope you guys are clear if you have any questions let us know we'll drop another video uh, we'll record another session and we'll clarify all your doubts okay thank you guys